Hey, what's going on my friends? I hope you can see me okay. It's getting a little dark, but I really wanted to talk about shame. Shame and embarrassment and how we all experience it when we're when we are younger and how it goes unprocessed. It goes unresolved. And so we hold on to this shame, okay? We've experienced it. We went through what we went through. We experienced the shame and we hold on to it for our, our entire lives, okay? For men, shame is huge. We've all gone through shame. We've all experienced it, but we as men, a lot of us are just okay if we just die and never have to talk about the things we've gone through. But we hold such weight of, with the shame, this embarrassment. And so do you, do you not see how this shame, it gets in the way of us ever truly loving ourselves? Because this shame, it was just embarrassment about aspects about ourselves, our individuality, who we are. We were so ashamed of who we are when we were younger. Because when we're younger, we're all just kind of like born, we're all like on the same level, you know, kindergarten or whatever. And then as we start going through the years and the stages of life, we start kind of growing as individuals. And so we get kind of like shamed. Like for me, it was my, my name. I have a unique European name. I always got made fun of for it. That's an aspect of me or my body. I was always the thinnest guy yeah, like forever. My buddies were all gaining muscle, no problem. And if you put a gun to my head and you told me to gain a pound of muscle, I couldn't do it. I was so ashamed of my body, but this is this was me. This is my body. This is who I was. And I didn't know how to properly think about it, how to see it, that like I'll grow into it. I'll be fine. But in the time, I was just so fucking angry with myself and my body and I internalized it. Okay? Think about it. Think of the shame you've experienced in your life and how it, it, it revolved about around aspects about yourself and who you were, your individuality. And we internalize it and we tuck it away forever. And then we also start picking up habits like drinking, um, doing drugs, smoking weed, porn, self-sabotaging -sabot -sabot activities. And this is all wrapped around together because we don't respect ourselves. We don't love ourselves because we're, we're just so ashamed of ourselves. This is a huge component to a lot of this, our struggles. And then we also surround ourselves with people who also have dealt with a lot of shame. People, guys who don't respect or love themselves. Do you see what I mean? There's so much shame in our lives that has just gone. We've, we've gone along so far without ever talking about it, ever putting uh, shining a light on it. And yet there is so much freedom and surrender by just letting it go, exposing it, saying it. When I was um, 20, 21, I became a dad. And this happened very unexpectedly. And I dealt with so much shame. I was so ashamed of it. I was so embarrassed because all my friends, all my buddies were doing other stuff. They're going to clubs, you know, they're in the prime meeting girls. And overnight I stepped into fatherhood. I told my parents and my best friend at month nine that I was going to be a dad because I was ashamed of it. I didn't know how to, how to accept that aspect about myself. I, for months drank enough to kill myself. There was a point my friend drove me to the hospital because I was not doing well. I was so ashamed of this, but there was nothing wrong with it. It was just what it was. Do you see what I mean? Um, this was just me. It was an, an aspect of myself, of me growing as a person, as an individual. It just happened. And yet I internalized it in the worst possible way. Because socially, I thought I was supposed to be someone else. I, I thought I it was supposed to happen at a different time, in a different way. And so I partook in activities that showed that I really don't love myself. 
I hate myself. Think back to all your shameful and, ex and embarrassing experiences throughout your life. And now think about it. Be very, I mean, be very honest. Okay? Think back of those times that you don't think about. Now, as you're thinking about them, be very honest with yourself with how they're making you feel as you're thinking about them right now. As you're thinking about them, where do you feel it in your body? Is it in your chest, your stomach, your throat, in your in your head? Do they bring tears? This is unresolved shame. We've all gone through it. We've all experienced it. And all of us don't talk about it. And like I said, there's just so much surrender and so much freedom on the other side when we can allow ourselves to talk about it. I'll leave it there for now. I love you all.